All right. Come on, man. What is that? Real quick, if you all would do me a huge favor, let me know what kind of RPG Maker content that you prefer from this channel. So the first two or three parts, we did the entire video, no cuts or edits or anything like that. Um, I can put some retro music in the background and that way, you know, you'll have that to listen to when there's silence or do you all prefer, would you all prefer the cut and edited videos where all the silence is cut out and it's pretty much just you know the the times where things are actually happening as i'm talking if you would please please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and i will make that happen for you so rpg maker is a thing that we do around here from time to time so i said last time that i wanted to turn all the add-ons off because that was not base enough right it wasn't base enough for the engine I realized that was stupid because it comes with the DLC for the engine that I'm pretty sure I, I could be wrong, but I think just comes with it when you buy it. I'll have to do some research on that. So we're just going to turn all of these, except for this one, back on. There we go. Now the menu should look a lot better. Today, I want to work on... I don't like this. This looks like a town you would see in like Final Fantasy 1 completely square doesn't have like even when you're walking in it in the game you can almost tell it's a complete square so i want to like take some of these trees i want to bring them out here a little bit maybe bring some up here a few out here you know to make it look a little less bad so let's go to the map editor here where are the trees let's start with this one actually Maybe we could get rid of that tile. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. Get rid of the, oh, one too many. Dude, I keep losing the tree. The way that it's choosing to use some of these, very odd. A little bit up here. We can actually add another tree or two right here. And we might, let's just get rid of this one by the shed. Not, not digging it. Okay, yeah, see that, that looks a little better. I, I like that much, much better. Let's bring these trees maybe over to here. We'll go ahead and maybe fill it out a little bit. Whoop. Bring that in a little bit. Kind of like that. Let's see, where else do we want to bring it up? I think we want to make it maybe bubble up a little right here. And we can change the path if we need to. This can definitely be brought out. There we go. That's that's looking a little better. Oh, that's unfortunate. I kind of wish that it was. Yeah, I want to put a tree behind it. This is already looking much, much better. Let's fill out some trees right here. Maybe have. There we go. See that? Now that put trees behind it. Why well, that one did, but the other ones did not. We'll definitely have to go back through and touch up a few of the trees so they don't, they're not like overlapping in a weird way. Yeah, let's get rid of that thing. Let's get rid of that bush right there. Then we'll take a tree. We'll kind of have it. Kind of have it surround this building here a little bit. The more the more we add here, the the more satisfied I'm becoming with this. Yeah, filling out the trees seems like it's made a big difference. Now we need to go to the event layer and move some of these around. Move this gentleman over here. The two kids are fine. This lady's fine. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and get a quick preview of what it looks like. Well, well, okay, well, we gotta fix that. <laughs> uh, there's a corner there that needs to be fixed, but th this actually looks a lot, a lot more dense. Oh, we gotta fix the pathing right there. But I, I actually like this much better. I think this looks much, much better. Still not perfect because my map skills are duty. Oh, we need, <laughs> we need to fix this tree. There we go. I'm um, checking the edges to see if anything looks strange. Now I'm sure somewhere there are trees that look like they are on top of other trees. But as of right now, 
I'm not seeing any that jump out to me. Oh, we need to fix that. Grab a grass tile, close this out. And then maybe we make the path go this way instead. Go to this other layer. Let's get rid of some of this grass here. One of the things that I wanted to do today was go into the items and reorganize some of this stuff. So let's copy, paste. All right, right here, we're going to make this recovery items. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna delete a bunch of these out. Just delete it all, burn it all. Okay, uh, we'll take this up to about 300 for right now. Recovery items will go down to 50. We'll have stat boosters. We'll give that another 50. Now we may not use all these, but this will just be placeholder for now. What other items should we need? Um, let's say crafting. Let's do a key items category. Then <clears throat> that was a voice crack from hell. Then <laughs> we'll just leave it right there for right now. So we got the gelatin cake in there. Let's do a basic tonic. Um, for right now, we'll just have this cost 100 bits, which is going to be our, I believe we've already coded that as our money. Where's terms? Here we go. Where are the biddies? I don't see, am I missing something? Gold has got to be listed in here somewhere. I know it's here, man. Bits, here we go. Currency bits. Okay. So we'll say tonic. Check our, oh yeah, I forgot to change a bunch of these, which is an easy thing to do. I've just altered colors. So we, we don't, we didn't mess with our, our objective here of leaving it very vanilla. This tonic, basic brood, basic brew of tonic that will restore 10% of your HP. Actually, let's do 10% of HP for one ally. Okay, regular item, consumable, one ally, occasion always. Uh, success 100%, repeat, and we'll leave that at one. No TP gain, certain hit, animation. Do we have a potion animation? Oh wait, is there a, just a potion? I mean, we could make one ourselves, but All right, we'll leave it at heal one for right now. Effects, recover HP 10%. 10% seems low. Let's let's do let's do 25%. Because that seems really low. Now let's go into Samantha's house here. And let's pad out some of these events. So oh actually we need to make some equipment for our characters. Just delete all of these. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna actually a, a faster way to do this would be to change it to one and then change it back to like 300. There we go. So we'll start off with let me consult my database here. Club, leave that at about 30. Mace, whip. Okay, now after all that, Jesus. We ended up with over like 500, yeah, because I want to make about 30 weapons for each if that. And I'm sure we'll end up going through and scrapping weapon types later on, you know, we'll, but we'll see. All right, long sword. I think we're going to start with a basic oak sword. A wooden sword that has been handcrafted with, or let's do, has been handcrafted from a giant oak tree branch to have an incredibly sharp blade. This will be oak sword level one. Uh, weapon type, it'll be a long sword. Let's do. Let's do 300 for the price. Attack element will be physical. We'll do hit rate is, let's say it's, let's just go 95%. Then attack, we'll go, let it have about 15 attack. Actually, let's do, let's do 30 attack. Apply. Okay, now we're gonna have a weapon, body, Wrist, legs, primary rune, secondary rune, and then we'll do a magic card. So we need some body armor. So now let's go through, oh my God, this is gonna be so much work. Let's change the max down to one and then change the max down to, let's just do 300 for this one. I'm not even really sure where we're gonna go with this. Light armor, 
Actually, let's do light body, heavy body, or medium body. Should we just divide it by equipment type and maybe not even really worry about it? Yeah, let's do, let's go ahead and do that. Light, medium, and then heavy, heavy body. Well, let's call this wrist. This will be about 50, well, let's say this is about 60 items big. Legs, we'll say that's about 50 items big. Primary rune, secondary rune. 50 of those, and then we'll change this up to 350. And finally, magic card. All right, we'll, we'll, equip, we'll go ahead and make some light armor here. So let's just say um, leather vest. Or let's do, we'll do leather armor for now. A vest made out of thick animal hide to protect against, to protect the user from, hmm, how do, how do I want to word this? Not protect the user from basic attack, from during daily work. Let's try that. Armor type, we want this to be, oh, we probably need to go in and fix this. Let's go to armor types. We probably also need to make shields. I didn't even think about that. Shield. Okay, let's go back to types, armor types. So we'll have light armor, medium armor, heavy armor. Shield, and then we'll, we'll let's call this a specialty weapon for dual wielding. I don't even know if we're going to use that, but all right. Leather armor is light armor. It will cost 250 equipment type for the body evasion rate. I don't, we don't really want it to do anything to the evasion rate. Uh, let's say the defense is what? 10. What did we make the yeah, attack theory? So we'll do defense 10. Okay. Now let's scroll down here. Let's do, we'll call this leather vest. And then we'll go to medium body and we'll call this, um, actually let's do this. Let's change this to leather jacket. Jackert? That's not a jacket, it's a jacket. Out of, we'll change this from thick to thin. Copy. Now let's change this to leather vest. A vest crafted from, from thick animal hide to protect the user from more demanding jobs or more demanding work. Let's do that. This one was how much? 250? We need to change this then. We'll change this to 350. This will be defense plus 15. Or let's do 17. Okay. We're not really worried about a head. Well, we could go ahead and do heavy body. Let's do uh but I don't want to say light armor because we actually have like a light weapon type. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Light armor. Also, we did not put an icon on this. So let us do that. Light armor. Description. Armor made out of, let's see. Well, let's do armor hastily crafted from thin aluminum to offer the user some sort of protection from blades. From, let's say from weapons, actually. This is gonna be 400, and then defense plus 23. How high can you go with this? Okay, up in the four digits, so. Now on to wrist, we'll do, uh, let's just do bracelet. We'll start with bracelet small bracelet that offers the user only offers the user a slight defense boost because of sentiment actually let's do slight defense boost because of vanity this is going to get weird with the equipment types but also armor types Let's go ahead and change the maximum. I mean, we'll just keep changing this as we go. Like, I, I get what they're going for here, uh, but we'll just keep changing this as we go. I don't think they really see this name in game, so it's not really a big deal. And we'll say this only costs like 100 and it gives you two defense. Legs, like some leather boots. Actually, let's do wooden clogs. I have something interesting I want to try here. 
So let's do this. Also, we did not make an icon for this. Once again, bracelet. Here we go. No, that's a ring. Bracelet. Wooden clogs. Poorly fashioned clogs that make the wearer clumsy, but do offer a small defense boost. And what I want to do here is, uh, let's see, let's go to types. I want to change this to bracelet actually, then change the maximum to 10, change it to uh, shoes and boots. Then we'll make these boots. Actually, we'll make these shoes. And then we'll say it increases your defense by five, but lowers your speed by five. Uh, price, we'll price them at 200. And we'll take evasion rate. Oh, can, you can't lower evasion rate here, can you? Actually, yeah, let's do negative 10%. And then we'll make some leather boots. Well, this defense boost should probably be a little bit higher, right? So let's do eight. And then leather boots. Let's get the boot icon again. Fashioned of leather that smells quickly. It smells bad quickly after use. They offer a small defense and agility boost. Are they, we'll change it to, they are slightly, uh, they are somewhat sturdy. Then we'll do boots, price, how much were these? 200, we'll say these are also 200. And these will be legs. These offered what, eight defense? So let's give these three defense, three agility. And then we'll add a plus 2% evasion rate. Okay, and then primary rune, secondary rune, magic card, and shield. Let's do a shield. We'll do a wooden shield. Where, what am I, where am I missing? Oh, there it is. Fashioned from leftover wood. This shield may block a few hits before it cracks into. This is a shield price. One, well, we'll go ahead and make it 200 as well. How, how much are shields usually in? Oh, actually, let's make this 350. I feel like shields should offer you a big defense boost, right? Leather jacket was what, 10? Leather vest was 17. So, you know, let's say the shield will offer you, let's go 15. Uh, no evasion rate, no resistances or anything like that. How do I want to do the class thing? I guess let's, we'll, we'll just make these classes like classes you don't really go back to. We'll only give them skills up to like level, I don't know, 10 or so. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, equip weapon, dagger, longsword. Yeah, let's go ahead and go through here and change these. Oh, well, it's already got them. Defender is club, mace, whip, axe, spear. Okay, healer is staff, scepter, book, and orb. Perfect. I guess I've already done this work. Equip armor. They can equip light and medium armor but not heavy armor gonna equip a shield bracelet uh we'll do shoes and boots for them defender what can you equip as far as armor we'll say they can only equip heavy armor because what kind of defender would be caught dead in non-heavy armor a shield bracelet and we'll say boots i think i think that's what i want for now let's make an event here let's get our like item sparkle, go ahead and get that down. Actually, let's just take it to the world map at our starting position here, and then let's just paste this. Let's see what this looks like. I have a feeling it's not gonna look the way I want it to look. It doesn't look bad, but I think it needs to be sped up a little bit. I guess we'll try it at the highest frequency and see what happens. Oh my God. That is way too fast. Let's add a slight weight in between frames. So let's do just, just do 20 for now. Or in between uh, directions. Okay, okay. See, now we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's change this route to 10. Let's see what 10 looks like. 10, I think, is a little bit too fast for me. So let's do one more try and let's do 15. Kind of the sweet spot, I'm hoping. And then we'll probably make a common event to change the movement route so that we can, we don't have to copy this movement route for every event. We can just have, call the common event to change the movement route. Still not happy with this. Okay, that I think is where, where we can call it. Okay. 
Uh, let me take a look at what the route was. So up, right, left, down, and then 13 in between. Common event, we'll call this item animation. And we will set movement route. We did what? We changed the speed to normal and changed the frequency to the highest. And then was it up, right, left, down, I believe? And we waited 13 seconds between each one. Copy and paste these. Oh, wait a second. This is only going to perform this one time. It's not going to change the built-in movement route. Oh, repeat movements. Here we go. This event. Got it. And then this will be parallel. Uh, maybe it won't be parallel. Okay, we'll have it repeat and then don't wait for completion. All right, let's try that. So let's do this. Let's say fixed and then we'll call this common event item animation. Okay, apply and then let's see if it works. It does not work. Oh, it's because rip. We did not set it to auto run. So we'll just say that that's a parallel. Now obviously, we're not going to be able to put too many of these on screen because it's going to just destroy the RAM. It's not running at all. Hmm. Well, we may have to then just do this custom animation. There might be a way to do it, but it's not something I feel like messing with right now. So we'll just leave that there. Um, let's so let's cut this. Go back to Samantha's house. Put this here, call this Deos Equipment. And let's see, change equipment. Deos, equipment type, weapon, equipment, oak sword. And we're gonna do this, what, five times? Weapon body wrist. Oh, we don't have shield in there. So let's go here, change maximum to eight. I wish there was an easier way to rearrange this. Yeah, so you can't like drag it up. So the order that it's in on that list is the order it's going to show up in for uh, the menu. Light armor, medium armor. Okay, so these should all be right. It'll just be the slots. Yeah, so I actually don't have to change the item types, which is good. These I will have to change though. Oh yeah, I am going to have to go back and change it. RIP! Wooden shield, shield. Okay, maybe that's where I had it messed up. Because I didn't set the, the weapon type on some of them. Equipment type shield. Why are the leather jacket, leather vest, and clogs set as shields? Aha! Man, this can get out of your hands so fast. All right, now let's do this actually. Shield, wooden shield. Body, we'll do leather jacket. Wrist, bracelet. And then legs, we will do leather boots. Beautiful, okay. Jeez Louise. Oh no, I just opened another instance of RPG Maker RIP. Everything's breaking. What did we have for the gelatin item cover or item color? We had C31. Don't remember what C31 was. I believe it's green. I don't remember what 31 was, but you found an oak sword. Oh, there we go. Insert color index. Oh, it's kind of a pink color. Take the, the system out of there. Uh, and then let's insert icon index. Why didn't you put the entire thing in there for me? I am messing this all up. There we go. Also, let's look and see what the item sound effect. And now we'll copy this line and we'll do each one for armor. All right, let's preview this. Do we want to have them equip it right off the bat or let's go ahead and not do that. Let's put it on the player to equip it. All right, let's give this a little test. Oh no, we had it set to auto run, no! We need to make it so that switch woke up is on because we're gonna actually change this to nothing initially. And then let's fix this auto run event. New control switches. Actually, let's turn the switch on here. Control switches, woke up, on. All right, now let's try it. See what, oh, we also have it set to auto run still. No, we gotta fix it. Or we had it set to parallel. Now it should be fixed, hopefully. Oh no, we didn't add a self switch. Okay, it looks good so far. You can't see it, the sparkle yet, and we shouldn't until, you know, we wake up after Samantha's talking to us. Okay, let's see how this looks here. Found an oak sword level one. Oh no, we gotta fix that. The wooden shield is wrong, but well, that's not a big deal. And we need to fix the transparency on that. 
All right. And the, the light went away. So for consistency's sake, I want to go to the intro and I want to see how we handled uh, our system message there. Okay, dim and on the top. Gotcha. Dim and on the top. That's not the event I want. This one is. Wooden shield is fixed. Now I have that. So now what I want to do is I want to litter a couple of items around. So we'll put this here. Delete this, delete this, delete this. You found a... Also, we did not actually add the equipment to the party in the other event. I just realized that. Oh yeah, we need to change that item name too. Jesus, man. It's like, it's such a nightmare to juggle all this stuff, I feel like. But that's okay. It's part of it, unfortunately. We need to uh, we need to actually add the item in this time. We'll go ahead and give him three tonics. Be a little generous off the bat here. Okay, let's go back to this event and actually add the equipment that they found. Change items. Nope. Change weapons. Increase oak sword by one. Then change armor. Jacket by one. We need to actually go ahead and give some mantra some default equipment. Uh, weapons. What what can the defender equip? Club, mace, whip, axe. We'll do spear. Am I crazy or do I not see a spear icon? I guess, is this a spear icon? I don't know if that's a spear or a staff. But I guess it's the closest thing that we have. So I guess we'll say that's a spear. We'll say a small sharpened stone sits atop carved now a hand we'll do what we'll do a hand carved pole made of oak how much was the wooden was the oak sword 300 so i guess i would just make this one 300 as well and then the oak sword gave you what 30 attack we'll do this gives you 25 because the defender is going to be built around defense and let's give that spear to samantra oh wait a second Whip up and spear oh we didn't actually make it a spear weapon type i don't think we'll do we'll just do a pierce animation there which reminds me we need to do that for the oak sword slash physical we may go back through and like you know change some animations but this is fine for right now wooden spear okay so this is going to give you three tonics. I don't even think we can just delete this page because I don't even think you need to. Uh, I don't even think you can see that from up there or from down here when the camera zoomed in. What do we want to add? What what other items do we want to have? I think that's fine for right now. First floor. Let's go ahead and make an attack booster item. Attack booster small. Then we need to change the tonic item to small as well. Pack booster. File containing solution synthesized to or promote used to synthesize to promote strength for whoever drinks it. Attack plus base attack plus five. Or we'll just do yeah, attack plus five. Regular item price. We'll just say the price is zero because you're not gonna be able to buy them. Um, we definitely don't want them to sell them. Want them to sell them. So we'll say price is one. One ally occasion always. Success. Uh, actually, we'll do menu screen for this. Certain hit. We don't need an anim. I don't. Do we need an animation for this? Power up maybe. Let's do power up. Or what does cure one look like? Yeah. Just do power up and then effects uh parameter what am i looking for grow here we go grow attack by five and then we will paste this event here delete event page change item attack booster small oh we don't want it to increase by three increase by one okay you found attack booster small times one or we'll, we'll, we'll leave the time zone out. Get rid of this and then insert an icon index for, I guess just uh, attack up. Or do we use this? Oh no, we use the item icon. I'm an idiot. Look, man, it's uh, it's been a long day and the day's only just begun. All right, let's check everything out. See what it looks like. Play test, play test, play test, man. Super important. Oh, you can see that item from up there. 
Oh, see, this actually works because now you can't see the item. So it kind of reminds the player, hey, go up there and grab that. Okay, attack to 50, wooden shield, their jacket, bracelet, and she's already got all of this. Let's clear this and see if it'll let us equip the spear to him. Nope, perfect. Should have three small tonics in the inventory. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, we gotta fix that. Let's double check Deus' status here to make sure that, okay, attack 50. Use this attack booster. Attack 55, beautiful. All right. Okay, our parents still don't do anything, which is fine. So we need to fix the, the teleport here. Oh, we can't get out to the world map. No, this is not looking bad. I'm, I'm happy with it. The, the whole intro sequence so far. There's still a lot of stuff we gotta build out. Um, we got to build out all the character interactions in the town, like more items to find, stuff like that. Also, I'm not sure how I feel about the knock being the, the sound effect, you know? That's weird. I just noticed that these houses don't have the steps. Like, oh, none of them do when you leave. All right, and we need to fix this because we don't want to be inside the wall when we teleport down. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste this, then we're going to change it from items to bits change gold increase by 300 bits okay. and instead of we're going to play the coin sound effect instead of the item sound effect do we do we want to use an icon for the the gold do we have an icon for the gold for the money we have one that works i guess is the real question nothing's jumping out to me we'll just get rid of the icon completely let's go ahead actually let's put one Put another tonic here. Oh, that's an attack booster. No, 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 no. We'll put a tonic here. We'll put some gold bits in house two. We'll also put some gold bits in house three. We'll make this 150. And then in the shed, we'll just do another tonic probably. Two, we'll put a tonic right there. Let's put, actually, let's put some wooden clogs right here. Wooden clogs increase by one. We'll change it to you found some wooden clogs. There, now we've got items kind of laying around in different places throughout the town. Let's make a, do a quick transfer event to the world map. This way, facing right. We'll edit this to down to 90% volume. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the intro. I'll edit this out. I'm gonna go back to the intro. I wanna check and see, make sure everything's okay. And then that might do it for this session. <laughs> He's stuck in the wall. I was looking around like, where is the character? <laughs> He's over in the wall, no. I'm just sleeping on the roof, man. Oh, can she not equip the wooden clogs? No. What? I gotta change that to the gelatin cake. Go to the shed. See what's in the shed, man. So this will be the forest. I forget what we named it. I have it written down somewhere. And this will be the cave where a lot of a lot of shit's gonna go down. Pretty pretty happy with this. I this is so much more work than I thought it was gonna be. If I'm if I'm being honest, that's gonna do it though for this. RPG Maker video. We are still working our way out of the intro town. Who would have known that this is so much more work than initially thought? But uh, I think all we have left to do for the intro town is create some text for the characters that are there and then also add a couple more characters in the empty houses. Outside of that, I, I think we're, we're good to go and then we'll move on to making, I forget the road that we called it, but it'll be right around this area. Uh, we'll, we'll work on making that. So thank you all for hanging out. If you would like the video, I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more, please cl click, click, click the supplies button. <laughs> click the subscribe button if you would. I greatly appreciate it. We've also been making RPG Maker shorts. So look forward to those. A lot of tips and stuff, kind of like the tip that we learned earlier, where if you want to just get rid of everything, instead of going through and deleting, just change it to one, change it back to 50 and everything's gone. That'll probably be the next tip actually. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.